It's going to run through a bass line very similar to um, Steve Miller's Joker. Um, it's up a tone here in G, goes like this. Just run through it so um, starts on G, two beats on there, so it's fret three, string four, and then open string two, uh, sorry, open string three, and then to fret two and fret three, so it's A, B, C, and then it goes up another tone, and that's that's fret two, fret three on string three, and then open string two, and it goes down again, starting on open string three, and then. So that's open string three and then fret two and then fret three and then fret two and open again. So the last bit again is. So the first bit is. And then. And that's it, and it circles around. Guitar for that, I was going to show you as well. Um, switch to guitar G, C, D, and C. Just for the sake of it, what I'm doing is I'm putting fingers three and four on strings one or two, fret three. So it's like a G chord if you're strung from fret four, uh, from string four, sorry. And to make a G, fingers one and two, one goes on string uh, five, fret two, and uh, finger two goes on fret three, string six. So what I'm doing is I'm strumming. Um, that E string, just palm muting it just slightly with my with that part of my hand on the on the bridge, and then open string five. So keeping that ringing, take those fingers off, and then string five. So open, and then fret two, and fret three on string five. And then you can hold down the C. So the C is the same as the G, but your fingers are going down one string. So Finger one is on string four, fret two, and finger two is on um, string um, string five, fret three. And then from there, I'm going. Uh, so fret two and fret three on string five. And then open string four, and then the D. And then going back down again. So it's open string five again. And then fret two, fret three, and then fret two, and then open, and then back to G again. Just go through that again. So it's just these two frets here, fret two and three, are the way you've got to get your fingers to, to run up and down that scale. So that G chord again, so fingers three and four on string one and two, fret th um, fret three. So your G, I'm so I'm picking string six twice, and then ringing out the chord, then taking these two fingers off while it's still ringing. So, oops. And then open string five, and then hold down. 
down that C. Just strum that out. Leave those fingers there. And then... And then the D. And then open string 5. sake of it um, without wanting to confuse you there's another chord you might want to learn while your fingers are in the same space it's like an F F chord but these two frets are, are a tone higher so you can go just by moving these fingers up and down chord so it's the same as the F but you've got these two notes are a, 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 a tone higher so there you go